Welcome to FX Street. If you like what we're talking about, you like the content we're producing, head on over to YouTube, hit that subscribe button. You can follow Akash and I individually, Akash at Mangyako Zero, and myself at Just Analysis One uh, on Twitter. Taking a look here at Ethereum. Ethereum, I mean, it's had a pretty steep drop below this bull flag. Um, it's, it's came down and finally tested that 50% fib retracement. So that's that's a that's really one of the main reasons that I am anticipating a pretty good uh, bottom to show up there. So my chart. There we go. The weekly chart for Ethereum. This is kind of similar to what we had like in Cardano, but Ethereum's Ethereum's um, uh, weekly composite index <laughs> has uh, hit. A, a low that it was so it's, it's at the same level it was back when it was test uh, back when it was uh, uh, in September of 2019 and then before that the same level it was at back in April of 2018 so it's it's had a pretty substantial move south here that's very extended uh, in in the oscillators it's it's in between the two oversold levels in the bull market at 50 and 40 on the weekly chart and that that hidden bullish divergence here. If the higher lows, higher closes on the uh, candlestick chart, and composite index has this pretty dramatic dive down here. Um, that that's occurring as it hits that 50% fib retracement at 2,900. I mean, this is this is uh, like this is pullback corrective and uh, 101 theory. And yeah, I mean, it's without going into like the point figure setups, the the uh, target. On the short term here on the fifty dollar three box reversal charts, I I don't know it should be at uh, thirty seven fifty. Yeah, thirty seven fifty is on the short run here is where I see it going, and then um, still looking at it to work off of this spike pattern set up on the one hundred dollar three box reversal chart that would launch it towards new all time highs. Uh, but as far as where it's currently sitting. First zone that I would expect it to get to to face some resistance from any bounce. That is definitely going to be where the point of control is at currently in the volume profile and where the weekly Tenkinson is kind of sharing that same zone at 4,000. That's where, that's where I see it going. So 4,000 is the upside potential I see as far as downside potential. Definitely limited to the bottom of the cloud on the weekly chart at 2,300. 23 to 2,500, yeah, that's, that's where the 618 uh, retracement is at. So Ethereum, Ethereum is, is, is definitely found its low, and we should see it have a nice little rally here over the next uh, week or so. Pass it off to you, Akash. Thank you, John. So... Uh... For Ethereum, uh, there's a death cross here happening on the 50 and the 100 day moving average, daily moving average. And price has dropped roughly 22%. Yeah, 23% uh, over the last five days. And it's currently hovering above the weekly support level at 3,061. I believe this is going to hold, uh, considering how I'm um, a little bullish on Bitcoin. I believe this is going to hold, and we're going to see a retest of the uh, two-day supply zone here, ranging from 3,675 to 3,862. So, yeah, this uh, I'm seeing, I'm expecting a nice 17% upswing. Uh, and, and if we're lucky, right, we could probably see it extend, the, the rally could extend to this weekly resistance level at 4,066. But that is unlikely, and I, it, it's, it's, a, it's a big if. All right, but for now, I think the upside scenario for Ethereum is capped at 3,675. As for the downside, I have marked out this uh, another weekly support level at 2,712. Uh, and there is quite a bit of liquidity resting here uh, around the, the, the bodies of the candle that were formed here between 20, 21st September and 29th September. So there, there is a chance if the weekly support level fails and if Bitcoin kind of fumbles, uh, it'll take down the entire market with it. And so in that scenario, then I'm looking at a liquidity collection uh, downswing, which could probably form a base and then 
go higher. Not sure. So for now, I am bullish on Ethereum, expecting a 17 to the 17, yeah, roughly 17% upswing from its current position. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it, uh, John. All right. Thank you, Akash, and thank you, everybody else, for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.